friends and welcome here. I hope that you are having just the most wonderful day and I'm ready for another meal prep and this week's meal prep is actually going to be an exciting one. I'm going to be making several recipes that are inspired by several other people here on YouTube. One of them is one of my absolutely favorite family vloggers and she just shared this delicious recipe and I wanted to share with you guys because it seems super simple. She said it was something that could be easily meal prepped so I thought why not give it a try changing it up a little bit and as usual I always end up drinking either a coffee, a matcha, or some nice warm or cold drink uh, to enjoy while I meal prep. So today I'm actually going to be having a poppy because I already had coffee and I love 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 some poppy i recently had the cranberry seasonal flavor and it was amazing i'm bummed that we didn't end up getting a lot of them while they were in stock i still have to look around maybe they still have some in some stores but right now i'm having the cherry limeade my favorite one for sure is the the one that just came out but then also the strawberry one that one is so delicious i tried an olipop a few days ago and i just I'm gonna be honest, I was not a huge fan of it. I thought it tasted more of like a juice than it did like a type of soda, but I definitely really enjoyed the poppy and I've enjoyed all of their flavors so far. So highly recommend them if you are a soda person or trying to get rid of that soda like craving, poppy is the way to go. I am a huge fan of poppy, so I highly recommend them. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, so let me tell you what we are going to be making today. We are going to be making a mixture of things. So I was thinking for breakfast, we're gonna be making some steel cut oats because I used to have those all the time when I first went plant-based. So we're gonna be making those. Another one I thought that we could have for breakfast as well is edamame toast. I found this one on Rainbow Plant Life's YouTube and it looked so simple and it looked like it was jam-packed with flavor, which I'm all about. Um, this one's kind of off the cuff if I want an extra meal or something a little bit different. Is basically a mixed vegetable, like a frozen mixed vegetable bowl with uh, white rice. Uh, mixed vegetables and tofu cubes. So I'm going to be prepping the tofu and of course the white rice but I'm actually going to be making sushi rice today. And then another meal that I am going to be prepping the components for are sushi bowls and I haven't had sushi bowls in a minute so I thought those were those sounded really really good. Uh, the one that I saw from my one of my favorite uh, family style vloggers. Her YouTube channel name is Haley's Corner and she shared these vegetable spring rolls and I thought those would be so good for a lunch and so easy because they're just kind of just grab and go sort of thing. So I'm going to be prepping those and I'm also going to be making a sauce for them that she shared as well and I'll link those two, the Rainbow Plant Life down below and Haley's down below as well. So we're going to be making those. I also had thought of making a lentil soup, but I'm thinking that just in case we don't get to it, because I also don't want that one to be too, uh, to go bad since we're probably going to have that later in the week. I thought maybe that one's in, that one's in the Instant Pot. I'll just save that for later in the week if we end up needing it and getting to it. But if not, it's all good. We'll make it the following week. Um, as for snacks, I thought, hey, we're going to chop up some carrots and maybe some blueberry smoothies throughout the week and some baked sweet potatoes throughout the week as well. So that's kind of what we're working with and I'm really excited. I'm stepping a little bit out of my comfort comfort zone since we're not going to be making the same things that we usually prep. I'm not prepping beans, but that's because we have frozen frozen edamame, we have tofu. So we're getting our protein for sure, but just in um, not from the usual pinto beans, black beans, or chickpeas. Except I, oh yes, 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 I also forgot to mention, I'm making a quick hummus without tahini because my daughter, I've noticed, has a reaction when she has tahini. So not adding that to it on hers, but uh, let's see how it all turns out. I'm really excited. Y'all know I enjoy meal prepping and it has helped me so, so much. Oh yeah, we're gonna prep Victor some sweet potatoes as well. I don't know, no, you can't see them. But we're gonna be prepping some sweet potatoes for Victor for his meal prep. We do have, we are working with brown rice and a bit of Mexican rice. Oops. We are working with some brown rice and some Mexican rice in our fridge. And then my daughter also has a few things prepped already. Um, so yeah. With that said, let's get started and let's make some delicious food. So as you see here, I started off with cooking my sushi rice, 
but then plot twist when I was rinsing off my rice I realized that there was these black little bits that kept coming to the surface after doing some googling I realized that it was actually um, like little bugs that get in the rice so I ended up tossing it and then I just ended up using some regular jasmine rice which is still good on this just that I was excited and looking forward to a different kind of rice this week but it's okay worked around that I prepped my rice and set that in my rice cooker and this rice cooker has been just amazing it has served us really well since now we're able to make much larger batches Now moving on to my steel cut oats. For this I used one cup of steel cut oats and two and a half cups of water. I usually pressure cook this for four minutes but because I wanted them to come out tender based on a blog post that I saw, just because my daughter is having these as well, I wanted to make sure that they were just at a, a better texture for her. I ended up cooking these for 18 minutes like the blog post suggested and they came out perfect for us. Time to move on to my husband's portion of the meal prep. Now this is one of his favorite meals and he has this every day for lunch and he loves it. So we are prepping him some tempeh and some sweet potatoes and we already have his brown rice in the fridge. But he basically has this for lunch. He says it's super filling and yeah, he enjoys it. So sometimes I season this up differently depending on the day. But we're going to be prepping some orange sweet potatoes and then some white sweet potatoes as well. And now for this, you can season up with whatever spices you have on hand. You can't really go wrong with sweet potatoes, so this is just what I did, but change it to your personal preference. Now my husband puts this in the oven on 425 for 25 minutes and then what I ended up doing once he's cooked is I left them in there just to sit with the oven off just to keep them warm before I'm able to put it away. Now moving on to my tempeh. This is pretty easy. I have really enjoyed making tempeh. It's so easy to prep. Now I used to steam it up and I still do sometimes but just for the ease of it I don't mind just sticking it in the oven and it comes out nice and crispy but if you want it softer in texture then I would suggest steaming it prior to putting it in the oven or before pan frying it but that's just again a personal preference if you've never had tempeh before I encourage you to try it it has kind of a nutty corn uh, flavor profile to it at first the first time I had it I gotta be honest I was not a fan but then after trying it a second and third time now I could just pick it right off the pan and just eat it as is it's so good and it makes just such a good addition to a meal high protein if you didn't know it's made out of soybean so it's super good for you so i highly encourage you to try it out it's so simple and you can find so many recipes for it online Now onto the thing that probably takes a little bit longer and that is prepping my veggies. I am making a mix of uh, several things because I'm making sushi bowls and I'm making some spring rolls and then later on during the week I actually ended up making some egg rolls obviously without the egg. Now I could have opted to get a bag that's already pre-shredded but I just wanted to add a pop of color and you get more out of it. I feel like if you get the like a whole head of cabbage. So so yes, I'm gonna chop up some carrots and some cucumbers as well and I'm going to add those to individual containers so that I have them ready for the week.
Now along with my veggies, I'm also gonna be prepping my green onions and some cilantro just to have it ready and accessible in a container, chopped and prepped, so that I can easily put them on top of any bowls or in the um, egg roll mixture that I'm going to be making later on this week. And this is how my veggies looked once they're prepped and ready and this is gonna make my week just so much easier. Now because I am meal prepping and we don't have a lot of counter space, I chose to just leave them sitting in the oven. Um, but you could take it out if you want, but it didn't really do much just leaving it in the oven, so we did that. Now I'm moving on with my garlic and my jalapeno and my lime and having this set aside for later when I make that edamame toast spread. And right about now, our steel cut oats were ready and they look kind of gooey, but once they sit in the fridge overnight, they are definitely going to firm up. 18 minutes for these was perfect for me and my daughter. Here I am showing you our easy, yummy tofu scramble. So I'm starting with prepping the tofu. I'm just crumbling it up and I added some fresh spinach. And while that is kind of warming up, I am also going to start prepping my tofu uh, so that I can marinate it for the spring rolls and just some more that I can store in the fridge. Uh, let it sit and marinate for later in the week. So I'm doing two. One of them I'm going to be just making into little sticks and this is going to be for the spring rolls and I'm also going to cut some into cubes and this is what's gonna go in the fridge and I could toss it in the air fryer for later use. my tofu scramble now I'm just going to be adding in my seasonings this is hands down one of the best tofu scrambles that I've ever had and that's not to toot my own horn I just truly really enjoy this over toast on its own with shredded hash browns or um, in a bagel it is just so flavorful and it's so delicious and if you're not a fan of tofu guys you need to try this and then let me know I, this happened by just by chance because I wanted the tofu to have extra yellow color and I don't add black salt because I just, to be honest, the eggy smell of it, I just don't enjoy anymore. So I just add some salt and some pepper at the end um, and this is perfect. Victor loves this stuff. So we made some extra for the week because we love it, my daughter loves it and it's just so delicious. So now that our tofu scramble is done, we got time to prep our other tofu marinades and I'm just doing it very basic. You could definitely find some fancier marinades online, but you know, we're going for quick and easy here. So that's just what I'm doing, but you could change it up. You can add more, you can do whatever you want with these, you know, have at it. Now these I'm going to be using in just a little bit, so they're only gonna be marinating for maybe 30-ish minutes at most. So I'm just gonna stick these in the fridge while I prep my sauces. Now, if you've been here long enough, you know that I probably just top it off either with plain soy sauce or I top my bowls off with some salsa or sriracha. But today, I'm making a vegan mayo. You can find great sauces online if you want something a little bit different, but I did find that having 
these two prepped was just super helpful because you could just easily top off your bowls. You can have food ready and served in just a couple of minutes with a delicious dressing on the side. Moving on to the Thai inspired sauce. This one is so delicious and it made such a great dipping sauce. And then when I made a bowl, I topped it off with this too. And oh my goodness, next time I'm making a larger batch of this because it was just so flavorful and it it just it was perfect i loved it so so much and it's definitely one that i'm going to be adding on rotation because this would even make a delicious salad dressing and it was so simple to put together so definitely something that i recommend you try i did end up adding a little bit of water to thin it out I still have to make the edamame toast and the um, rolls. That took forever. This is why sometimes I don't like trying new recipes and I stick to the usuals that I prep because it just gets too complicated. But we did have dinner in the middle, so that's like an extra added recipe. And I forgot about the tempeh. So I guess it just means we have extra things <laughs> ready for the week. But right now I'm microwaving the edamame and yeah, I'm not gonna make the hummus because I realized we don't have a can opener because our other one messed up last week. So we're just gonna make the toast. <laughs> I didn't think we needed that much, but we do. So I have this. Now, spoiler alert, I really thoroughly enjoyed this so, so much. It made such an indulgent, breakfast and I served it over a bagel instead of a toast and it was so good. The only thing I would add is next time I would probably add even more edamame. Of course, I ended up having to half the ingredients and make half of the recipe because, you know, I realized I didn't have enough, but I would also end up adding a little bit less tahini because I felt that that was just a little bit too overpowering for me. It was absolutely delicious. Highly recommend that you make that. It did take me a little bit longer than most meal preps, maybe like 30 minutes more. I took two hours and 30 minutes to meal prep all of this so far. And we got some good stuff, new recipes. We have all of our veggies, our oats and carrots and cabbage and all the good things prepped and ready. So this is definitely gonna be really helpful for the week, making sure that we eat delicious and easy meals. We are gonna prep the very last thing, which is our spring rolls. And I am using these spring roll wrappers that we found at our local grocery store. I did end up spraying a little bit of oil just to make sure that they don't stick and they come out nice and not crispy, but you know, just nice. So it's said to just dip them in some warm water and I learned in the middle of this that this is more challenging. Uh, maybe you have tips on how to make this easier, but it seemed to be kind of gooey and sticky. Um, the first spring roll though, I gotta say, came out really nice. It came out perfect. It wrapped up neatly, but it kind of seemed like it went downhill from there. Maybe it was because I added too much stuff, but later on in the week when I made egg rolls, the egg roll wrapper held up way better. And honestly, I don't know, it went, it tasted different. Um, but it was absolutely delicious and it was worth my struggle <laughs> with these. But that is pretty much me just making some egg rolls to have ready for the week. And I didn't make as, man, as many as I thought I was going to make. I got a little frustrated or a little flustered because I'm not good with being patient, <laughs> if you didn't know that about me. Uh, so I just kind of went with the flow and I had to remake some of them. But overall, I'm glad I made them. It made a delicious lunch. guys thank you so much for watching thank you for being here if you have not already and you'd like to see more videos like this then please subscribe down below if you've been here for a while just know that I am so so thankful for you please let me know down in the comments what other kinds of videos you'd like to see 
and I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye!